Looking to invest in Hawaii, but wondering, is this property even gonna cash flow? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you three tools that can allow you to actually do the research and figure out whether that property is actually a good investment. So stick around to get all the details. See you on the other side. What's going on, guys? Like I mentioned in this video, if you are interested in investing in Hawaii, one of the big things you wanna understand is how much can I actually rent this property for? And more importantly, who would be my target market? Well, before we jump into the juicy stuff, if this is your first time here, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Patrick Longley. I am a licensed real estate agent out here in Hawaii and have been for nearly a decade helping buyers and sellers and investors with their real estate needs. Now, if you need any assistance with your real estate needs, by all means, feel free to reach out to me. I got my contact information right here, or you can directly DM me on any of my social media platforms. With that being said, let's jump into three tools that can really assist you when it comes to understanding what market should I target and how much can I get in regards to rent and whether this property is actually going to cash flow. Now, before we jump into the tools, I want to set the stage and understand that when it comes to investing, you have two strategies. You basically have cash flow or you have appreciation. Now, out here in Hawaii, it is very difficult to find cash flow. So if that's what you're looking for, you may want to look somewhere else, but I'm going to show you how some of these tools may open up a couple opportunities in regards to cash flow. But generally out here in Hawaii, we see appreciation, which is super strong. And that is the normal strategy for most investors out here in Oahu, Hawaii. On average, we see a four to six appreciation every single year for your investment property. So for example, if you were to buy a $500,000 condo and it appreciates on the low end by 4%, you're making $20,000 in equity every single year. But a lot of people want to know, well, if I want to make 20 grand a year in equity, how much is it going to cost me? And more importantly, how much can I get for rent that's going to assist me in covering my expenses? Well, right now we're going to jump into three tools for three different markets to understand what rents potentially could be for that investment property that you're looking at. The first market and first tool we're going to look at is for the long term rental market. So if you're looking to purchase an investment property, not stage it, not actually furnish it. And if you're looking to rent it to someone for about a year plus, then this would be the market that you'd be focusing on. The pros to this market is less turnover, less headaches, and the cons are usually you get less return on investment, but it's a lot easier to manage. But what tool would you use if you wanted to know what could I potentially get for rent for that unit? So this is the tool I like to use, Rentimeter. This is a great tool that can give you a general idea and a range of what you can rent your potential investment property for, for the rental market. So as we can see here, if you have a two bedroom, one bath, specifically in Waikiki, you could generally get anywhere between 2,300 and 2,800, but 2,300 being the average and the median. Now, the second market we're gonna look at and the second tool is the midterm rental market. Now, if you're not aware of what the midterm rental market is, I've got a video right here that goes over all the details and one-on-one step-by-step of understanding the midterm rental market. But to break it down in a summary, generally what it is, is when you rent your property out that's fully furnished, turnkey, ready to rock and roll for a minimum of three to six months. Generally, you get higher rents than you do for a long-term and you have a little bit more turnover than you do long-term. So it has its pros and cons. Make sure you check out that video if you wanna get a deep dive into it. But the next thing you wanna understand is how much can I rent this place out if I want to get into the midterm rental market? Now, this is the only tool that I've found that works specifically for Hawaii in regards to figuring out what is my competition and generally what are people renting their units out for? So using that same scenario that we had before, or if you've got a two bedroom, one bath, you can see that you could rent this place out depending on where it's located and the quality of the place, anywhere between three grand upwards of $5,000 plus. So it really depends on where you're located and how nice the place is and of course how large it is. But generally we can see you can get a significant more for your unit in the midterm rental market compared to the long-term rental market. Now the third market and third tool we're gonna focus on is the short-term rental market. Now again, I've got another video right here that goes over all the rules restrictions when it comes to investing in Airbnbs and short-term rentals out here in Oahu, Hawaii. I'll quickly tell you that it is very difficult, very expensive, and also can be kind of difficult to get in because of all the zoning rules and regulations and requirements. But with that being said, if you're lucky enough to actually find one, you would wanna know how much can I actually rent this for on Airbnb or some of those short-term rental websites. Now, this is my favorite tool. If you are trying to do that research, it is AirDNA. Now, once again, if we're looking at AirDNA, this tool is extremely powerful at looking at all types of different angles when it comes to researching a property to leverage for a short-term rental market. You can see that it can pump out reports, scenarios, and we just basically put in here Waikiki, two bedroom, one bath, four guests, that's two people, maybe two couples in each room. We can see that the annual revenue could be possibly 162000 thousand dollars with an average daily rate of 532. Now, in my professional opinion, I think that's a little bit high. I would probably want to be a little bit more conservative, but we can see that it pumps out a lot of great info by the click of a button and you can dive deeper into all types of different scenarios, occupancy rates, 
revenue, smart rates, pacing, seasonality, all kinds of stuff with a paid account. Okay guys, so we just went over three different markets with three different tools to really dive into how much you could actually rent your potential investment property for. If you guys could do me a huge favor, it really helps with the algorithm. If you could smash that like button, as well as click the subscribe and notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop videos just like this. And if you feel that I missed anything or you want me to dive deeper into any of these tools, put a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. With that being said, I'm Patrick with PatrickCalonlyRealty.com, powered by eXp Realty. Hope you guys have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you soon. Aloha.